and he will be looking to try to get some uh, goulash sauce going here against Oob. All right, Oob will start it off. Maestro, oh, almost tripped up himself. Couldn't get it to go down, though. Called him Bruner. Ooh. That's physical defense. That will happen to you. All right, so Vienna, they uh, managed to beat Team Plunge. And as I said, they uh, didn't shoot the two ball that well on day one. They hit eight of them in that quarterfinal game. Two of those were from this guy, the math man, who can count to zwei as good as anybody in the game. The burner, Colton Bruner. Hesitation step, finds Lil Nordner for two. And he continues the hot shooting ways. Matthias Lil Nordner kicking it off for Vienna and then an offensive foul on the beast. In a good start here for the Viennese. Sotovic almost ran into me. Lynn Nortner, Ooh, good defense by Sotovic. Rebound for the burners, shot clock reset. So he gets a nice little fake going. That's faker than the moon landing. All right. Hammer trying to screen with Colton Bruner. Got his waltz on. That's a step too many. Can't be doing that. Take a look at this. Uh-huh. Foul on the Nortner. Now strange in action. Strange. Faked out Quincy Diggs, and Diggs couldn't break. So that will be uh, a foul on Team Vienna. He faked him out, he tried to pass him, and Quincy Diggs just kind of ran into him there. Strange for two. Oh, yeah, Dr. Strange, the sling ring's on now. Quincy Diggs on the other end, though. Oh, he got to that basket easy. And a foul on Strange. Dr. Strange said, I promise you, we did, I didn't hit him. But a foul is called, so Quincy Diggs, the Black Panther, will step up to the free throw line, and he will miss the free throw. Rebound for his teammate, though, the burn. He saves it, gets it, well, almost gets it back. Strange almost got a tentacle in there. Strange for two. No. Whoa. Nim Diesel, look at the grit. He's out there showing more grit than Goku. Don't remember Dragon Ball Z? I do. I used to watch that every day. I'll say Barach's power level might be over 9,000. All right, back to it. The Diesel. Hands it off to the Beast. Maestro. Finds the beast. That man's a lethal shooter. You don't leave him open like that. Come on, Vienna. Y'all know this. Lil Nortner on the move. Gets a little layup. He gets past the beast. The Maestro then also passes it up. The, avoids the big mitts from the hammer. Nice little layup. 6-6 six, six here. The hammer with the two. Now, we saw him hit those in the first game.
result on Vienna, and that will get us to our first TV timeout. For this, that will be Vienna's sixth foul. Six to four fouls for Ubin, and a lead here for Vienna on the back of some hot, hot shooting, because my goodness, these guys are on fire. That's hotter than the beaches out here in Marseille. Burner underneath the basket, just using his speed and strength and faking out Nim Diesel. I didn't know Nim Diesel believed in conspiracies like that. I didn't think he was a flat earther. All right, I digress. I'm sorry, guys. All right, look at this, Vienna with the run. Ooh, only responding with a couple of ones. Maestro for two. He doesn't have the maestro just yet. Maestro's body language is, um, well, it's all right, but it's not great. He feels like he should be hitting those, and I think everybody feels like he should be hitting those because we've seen him hit him a million times already. Mind you, this is the world's leading score on the World Tour circuit. Another two for him. Well, you don't want to give him that much space. The Maestro, two up, two down. Says hi day, hi day. Alton Gruden tries to give him a taste of his own medicine. No, though. This time, that rebound goes out of bounds. I'm not sure who it went off of. The Nortner kick out the burner. Hands in there for the beast, though. Set here for Vienna. They can check the burner attacks. Oh, Ooh, that looked a little awkward, but fighting for the rebound. But almost all the rebounds right now are going to the Austrians. And I think uh, the hammer might have gotten hit in the nards. I heard somebody say once you should be singing when that happens, so you can, I don't know, feel better. I don't know if singing's going to be all right here, though. Yeah, it looks like he got hit in the jewels. That's never great. Baraj comes over and tells him I'm sorry. Because he, he knows how that feels. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the strongest matchup in 3x3 basketball. Philip Kramer versus Nem Diesel and Manja Baraj. Both these fellows look like they fell into a tub of magic potions earlier on in their life. For those of y'all that know Asterix and Obelix. Nem Diesel. Good screen, good roll. Brings his team within one. The hammer finds the burner. Can he put the afterburners on? Well, he can, but he also steps out of bounds on one of those. And we're finally seeing some real emotion here from Strange. This is familiar territory for this OOP team, as well as Vienna, might I add, but OOP has been here a lot. And with a lot, I mean that my, the Maestro might have played like 50 World Tours already. I'm not even sure. And this is this one, though. Mastorovic is at 28 wins in the World Tour, which is insane. Yeah, 28 World Tour wins. Oh, Quincy Diggs managed to catch himself. Pat like reflexes there from the Black Panther. Left to the basket easy, then slipped, but got back up. Strange for two. No. Board ends up in Quincy Diggs' hands, and he will throw it off of Dr. Strange. And frustrations on showing with Team Oob here, who are facing a two-point deficit halfway through the game. A very, very hard-fought semifinals here. Both these teams don't want to give up any space to the other squad. Quincy Diggs. 
Oh, he gets up too. He gets up too. Diggs putting up Vienna. Four points lead here for them. But M. Diesel with the layup and one, and that will be two free throws for the Serbian strongman as Vienna gets the bonus on that foul. On the line, Barash, and one. Ooh, fighting for all that it's worth. It's not going easy in this tournament. It's not one of those tournaments where they run away with it. But they are fighting, struggling to survive right here. Again, facing a two-point deficit right now. Could be one after this Barach made free throw. He does make it. So two points deficit here for Kovacuda. Behind the back. Uh-oh. Well, just made the but blocked by the Maestro. The Beast. Going at the hoop. Finds Maestro. Two shots. Oh, thank you. Altenbrunner again with the rebound, but steps out of bounds again. That big toe, that hit that line. So Maestro not really on fire just yet. Still pulled out a leaf of sheet music, but not much more than that. Again, the Maestro fakes one out, kicks it to the Beast. The Beast, he's been hit, and he hits again. 15-15, 4.24 to go, as both teams are fighting here. In a Tight, tight contest. The hammer fakes, throws, doesn't return to him for two. Strahina Stojicic, Dr. Strange. Can he get Strange with it? The Beast again for two. No, but tries to get his own rebound. That will drop to the Black Panther. And then a holding call on the Beast as the hammerhead him sealed in a position that he didn't want to be in. I had to catch my breath for a second. That's a, this is a crazy game so far, ladies and gentlemen. 15-15, we're under four minutes here. And which one of these two teams is gonna bring home at least a bag that's worth more than the bags they already have? Again, trying to make it to the finals, trying to compete for that $40,000 bag. Strange, no, pushing foul on Nim Diesel. Can't put your mitts on a guy like that. Come on now. Good seal there by Colton. It's just attacking the Maestro with physicality. And then Strange passes up a two point shot, doesn't go down. And Barac says, Get away, Quincy Diggs. But the referees don't agree with the, met the method that he took. All right, so look at the scores. Fought themselves back into this game, but Vienna with the last score so far, up one point, 16 to 15. My palms are getting sweaty. I don't know about y'all, but this is a tight, tight game. Diggs tries to create some space. Diggs, deep bomb. Oh, Quincy Diggs, that was halfway down. Kramer with the rebound. Puts it up, doesn't put it in. Against the burner. Bronkula. Does he have any magic left in him? Oh, great pass to Nim Diesel. Nim Diesel misses it though. He will find the Maestro on the outside. Maestro challenges the hammer. Gets it to go down. So 16-16 here. Who won't go away easily? It's your world's number one team. Ah, the burner. No. So the shooting's cooled off a bit here for Vienna. Quick one, two, Barac, four seconds on the clock. Gets it back. Barac, step back to Nemanja Barac. Nemanja, my goodness. Nim Diesel coming through with the deep two off the step back. End of the shot clock. Crazy shot here. That shot needs to be put in the psych ward. Oh my God. Well, Oob's up two. Take a look at some of the highlights in this game. All right. Who's going to get to the finals and who's going to be left disappointed? 
Uben Vienna in a tightly locked contest here. 18 to 16. Ooh, on a big shot by Barac. The burner flips it to Lenortner. Lenortner, open floater, push shot, goes in. Pulls them within one, the Maestro. Had a pass, almost lost it, but gives it up to the Beast. The Beast for two. Chucks it up, no. That might have been a, uh, should have been a shot clock reset. Referee say no challenge. They will go talk about this. That ball hit the rim, or it looked like it anyways. Okay, so we ooh ball because that should have been a reset, and it wasn't. Two thirty to go here. And these teams will look to be the inaugural champion of the Marseille Masters, but yeah, the chemistry just a little bit off there. That's a failed experiment for Uli. As Strange can't find Mastorovic. That's your Monday basketball play again. We'll have some of those. We had some of these tournaments already. All right, back to it. The left hand. To the Col Colton Brunner. And Colton Brunner again on that waltz. Taking a couple of steps that you shouldn't be taking. The threes are sharp today. I tell you. Marek Mariszewski and Vlad Gerizranu. They're working out here. Look at Strange here. Finding the beast. Kicking it out. Maestro, well, give him that much space. He will knock at least one down. Here's the uh, very hard layup by Nim Diesel. You don't want to get in the way of that, man. That's a freight train coming at you. Diggs, though. Can he pull out something? Can the Black Panther turn it up, get some new tools, put on some vibranium stuff, and uh, return from Wakanda hero here, but... Got about two minutes to go. So, foul. That'll be two free throws, and that's one of the most deadly free throw shooters in the game, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to put that man on the line. Before this tournament, he was hitting him at a 93% clip. I think it went down just a tad, but he is a good shooter. Lenortner, you can see he's uh, not happy with that. And that is uh, uh, that's an understatement, I think. So, the maestro. Five points in the game so far. Make that six. Put Oob up 19 to 17. So it is game point Oob now, or at least they can make game point with a two. If he makes this, then it's only a one is needed. Oh, Maestro, he misses one. Leaves the door open here. Diggs trying to go at Barac to the hoop. Diggs, oh, he gets around him. He's put him like a baton. Did you see that? That footwork's nice. Maestro. Oh, that Serbian chemistry coming through the beast. No. Another reset here for Vienna. And they give it to Quincy Diggs. Diggs. Diggs for two. This might be the biggest shot of the game. 20 to 19 here. Vienna up. Oop, though. They got another shot at it. The beast. No. Rebound. And Nim Diesel, he taps it out. Nim Diesel taps it out. So call on the floor is, it is Vienna ball, but it's challenged by U. So the referees will take a look at this. Mind you, the call on the floor stands unless the footage is 100% clear. So they have to check this out and make very, very sure they can see who it went out on. But Vienna's got U on the ropes here. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so referees, Marek Mariszewski and Vlad Izdariano. Somebody from Romania help helped me with that pronunciation because I'm not good. Bogdan, you there? Can you help me? Anyway, these uh, fellas are going to take a look at the replay, try and see who it went out on. I am trying to see if I can spot something in the stadium or on their screen because I can barely see it. But I, 
I can't make it out, man. And this is a very important call. I might start to swing that. Man. I might be feeling all right. I don't know. All the players are looking at the big screens here. There's some screens around the field. You can see them watching those screens. So this, again, a huge call, but it looks like, oh, from that angle, it might look like products tapped it on the hand of the Black Panther. So I think it might be the ball. It might win this challenge. Yes, Oob has won the challenge. So that means it will be Oob ball in a 20 to 19 deficit for them here with 120, 120 left on the clock. They need something right now. Vienna's got them on the ropes. So who do they turn to? Strange, not on the court. He's feeling that Achilles. So the Maestro, we've seen him hit this shot many a times. The Maestro fading away. Maestrovic, no. But the rebound for Barac, the beast. Flips it to Barac. Barac, can he do it again? Ned Diesel! He'll end Vienna! Strongest man on the court, strongest shot of the game! Oh my goodness! Oob continues here on a very big three, a two point shot by Nim Diesel, Nemanja Barac. Incredible, that's your Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. And what a moment to shine here for Barac, back after missing Manila. And he is so important for this team and shows out why. Look at this, strongest shot in the game. And I mean that, that shot might bench press like 300 pounds. Oh my goodness. I got goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen. That man just ended Vienna on a crazy shot. Maestro had a shot, couldn't get it to go down. They tracked down the board though. And Barac coming through with the bang. Uh